just finished six days in Alaska. Yes. Yeah. We came here to visit Chung Hoi's family and also to um, because we thought we could cross into Thailand the land route. Yeah. And save some money, but the visa rules change. If you come by land into Thailand now, you only get 15 days. And we have a month already booked in Thailand, so we have to fly. Yeah. So we're taking the bus to Penang, which is about a two-hour bus ride from Alastar. One and a half hour bus ride from Alastar. Okay. It. And then so we will, we will take a grab to the airport and then take a flight. Yeah. And the flight is same like uh, if we take because before that we were planned to go to Langkawi Island, a beautiful island, which is right now they have uh, like uh, aeroplanes uh, exhibition. You know, all the planes come to Langkawi Island. And so um, from Langkawi Island, we will take the speed, uh, the ferry to go to Kolanta Island, but which is uh, is very expensive and it's very risky because the boat they use is not real ferry; it's just a speedboat. Yeah, yeah. I don't know how risky it is though. But I don't know how many people have died, and it's more just get wet and it's uncomfortable. Chiang yeah. Hoi gets sick, so and. I could get sick too on a ferry if it's really bumpy, but anyway, so, but still it's only 15 days if you take the ferry, uh, and then you have to try to get an extension, take a, to, a to half a day to do that, so we decided to fly back to KL and we're going to fly to Kolanta now, so we're going, flying from Penang to KL, Penang's halfway to where we're going, but we have to fly from there back to KL, which is south, and then north up to, to Kolanta, so through Karabi. So this is the ferry. It takes cars and people. And so we took the bus over from uh, Alostar, and it was uh, 11 ringgit per person, uh, which is $2.50. And now that's, that's uh, Penang Island over there. Uh, it's a famous island here in Malaysia. Uh, and we're gonna take this, this ferry over to Penang, and it's, uh, it's uh, two ringgit, which is like 50 cents. And then from over there, we're going to get a grab car, which will be seven ringgit to the airport because we're flying to uh, Thailand today. We're going to go from Penang to KL, uh, Kuala Lumpur, and then Kuala Lumpur to uh, Krabi Airport. And then we'll get a taxi to uh, the co working space we're going to, uh, Co Hub. We're in Thailand. We landed in Krabi. We landed in Krabi and uh, now we're in a private van going to Koh Lanta. Uh, we're going to Koh Hub, it's a, a co working space. What do you think? I don't know, I just arrived. Just arrived. the Krabi Airport. It's about an hour taxi ride to that dock over there and we're and then you're on this ferry. And the, the taxi was $78 for the hour and it includes this ferry right over to the other side. It's not too far. That's where we're going over there. That's the other side. We're inside the new place. Finally! <laughs> Finally, a full day of travel. Full day of travel because we travel from hometown, not from Korea. Right. So, we got here ferry rides, airplane rides, bus rides, taxi rides. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're inside the unit now, and it's it's it what it's, it's what it was last time. It's a co-working space, so think of like a moderate hotel room that has an office you can use with the internet. Uh, the, inter the internet, the office is down the street a little bit, but this is a huge apartment building. They're just little tiny apartments, but they're great for what we need. The beach is just a block away. Yay! And they have kitchen, they have... Uh, they have a little kitchen. They have kitchen, they have... Microwave, little fridge. There's two little fridges. Yeah. One of these little crown-up fridges here, and then... Yeah. And they have 
have a seat for you to sit outside. Oh yeah, a little balcony out there. Oh, that's um, not oh out here. Oh, a little sitting area. Let's see. Out there, and then the little kitchen. And it, the amazing thing about it is we we want to work for like a month and just play at the beach for a few hours a day, mostly just work. And um, it's two includes two meals a day, two people. It's like twelve fifty US, one thousand two hundred fifty for a month for two people, two meals a day. So we have. We'll probably be like oatmeal and fruit in the mornings and make it in our kitchen and then at the workspace, which we'll also show you a video of, they serve you two meals a day. It's Thai food, really delicious. Yeah? Thai food. Thai food, very food and vegetarian foods, vegan foods. Oh yeah. yeah. So, I was last year in 2016, probably two months before I met Chen Hoi, so now she's here with me. Alright, we'll check in with you later. This is Dan of Vagabond Buddha. Hey, if you're enjoying this video, could you please like it, subscribe, comment, or just visit us at vagabondbuddha.com. Any of that activity would help our business. Thank you so much for helping out. Have a great day. Welcome to Cohub. We're in Koh Lanta, uh, Thailand here, in a co-working space called Koh Hub. Life isn't lived unless there's video and pictures. I'm waiting for my pancake and... I'm waiting for a piece of cake. Chen Hui's civilized, so she's waiting for me to eat. I think they are very happy to hear this noise as well. Of course, they love when you blow your nose. Yeah. To be real, right? They know you're a real person, you're not like a mannequin. Because you're moving and you're blowing your nose. Talking about poop. Here's what she's not eating. They can't see that well. It's not real food. You need to be cooking. It's for pizza. Yeah, the food in a movie, it's not real food. You know that, right? Let me show you around here. I'm just going to spin you. This is the backyard of the co working space we're in. And it's. Um, a super fast internet, of course, is what you, what you need when you're when you're a, looking for a place you can work and have fun. And cheap. And cheap. Yep. And this place, cheap's always good. This place fulfills all of those requirements. I know I've already said it, but I can't help myself. I'm gonna say it again. We paid like. Under 1300 US, like 1250, I think, um, for a room with a kitchen. Private toilet? Private toilet, our own kitchen, bathroom, and balcony. balcony. And housekeeping. it's housekeeping every Wednesday. It's, it's not extravagant, but it's clean and nice. Um, and there's the internet both at home and here. And that's for two people for a month. And we're just a block from the beach, both here and at the place we're staying, which is maybe half a kilometer north, I would say. And you get a scooter here um, for another, I think it's like $115 for a month. And two helmets. So. Out the door, you're under $1,500 for two people for a month. And it includes two meals a day. Oh. And one more thing we are now, right now, is in the mid season. When the low season, it will be more cheaper. Yeah, it's cheaper in low season. We're almost in low season, right? The next no. month. I was here in 2016 for the first time. I was before I met, maybe six, three months before I met Chen Hoi. 
Can we have some fun here? Yeah, it was fun. I had a good time. Met a lot of digital nomads. And uh, in fact, we've met a few of them in uh, Mexico when we were there. Playa de Carmen. Yeah, we met um, Kevin. I mean, Simon? And Simon, yeah. So, GoHub people, you find them all over the world. So, you now you don't have to be a digital nomad. I suppose you could just take a month off from work and come here. But in that case, why are you working? <laughs> you know, uh, this, this, most of the people here work. This is just a, there's no real pattern to it. Some people are working a few hours a day. Some people are working all day. Depends what project they're on, what they're doing, whether they have passive income, whether they're working by the hour or the document. The only thing they have in common is they're all digital. They're working over the internet. They're working on the computer over the internet. That's really the only commonality of the people that are here. And they're mostly from like Canada, USA, yeah. and Europe. Yeah. Uh, haven't seen anyone from Asia yet. There's no one else here from Asia. Uh, currently, currently in this uh, moment, I mean, in this month. Yeah. It's what they have.